Hello and welcome back to WePC. Now the guys over at Steam are constantly thinking of new ways to make your user experience as good as it can be. Steam understands not, not everyone can get their hands on the latest games available. For that reason, Steam decided to design a feature that would allow users to share their games with close friends and family. Of course, with a feature this great, there does come limitations. Before we get into what this feature can't do, let's first show you how to share your games and what you can do. Step one is to enable Steam Guard security. You can check this feature is enabled by completing these following steps. Start by opening the Steam settings and once inside the settings window select the account tab and find manage Steam Guard account security. Once you've located this click on it. If the turn off tab is selected Steam Guard is not enabled. Simply click one of the above enabled options and you are good to go. Once Steam Guard is enabled the next step is to authorize your family members account. This step is required to allow the sharing of your selected games. The next step requires your Steam account to be logged onto your family member or friend's PC and once you have logged on and passed the Steam security questions you can follow the next steps to authorize their PC. From the set window select the family tab. Once inside the family tab find the family library sharing section. Underneath this section you should see a tick box labeled authorized library sharing on this computer. Select it. At this stage you will see a list of users that can be authorized for game sharing. Select the users that you would like to share with on that computer and once you have selected the user click OK. This next step is for the user that is looking to share. Start by logging onto the Steam account and making sure Steam God is enabled and then follow the previous steps that we said earlier. Once this is done if the authorization process work, you should see a list of games in your library that have been added from the sharing Steam account. Select one of the new games and click play. You should be greeted with a pop-up window which will look something like this. Steam will then ask you to either request access or buy this game. In this scenario, we will request access. After you request access, Steam will ask you to confirm the PC's name and send the request. Confirm the PC's name and click send request. By clicking send request, you are sending an email to the sharing Steam account asking for their permission to share that game. As the sharer, you will have to accept the offer via your emails and once accepted, you are given permission to that person to use and share that game and the process is complete. Now, let's discuss those limitations that we mentioned in the intro. Firstly, it's worth noting that you can only share with up to five different computers and 10 users. That is the max amount of users that Steam allows. Secondly, and probably most importantly, is that only one person can play that game at any one time. You won't be able to play with your friend or family on that specific game. So thinking ahead of trying to buy a recently released game and trying to pay half price each so that you can play together, just isn't gonna work. And there you have it, our comprehensive guide on how to share games on Steam. Hopefully this guide did help you, and if it did, we would love if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload, and we'll see you in the next one.